Hi everyone. Today's topic is reduction of order for a given second order differential equation. Many a times the given differential equation of second order is of a particular type and if we take a substitution for such equations we can easily reduce it to a first order differential equation which we can solve. Let us see what are these particular type of differential equations. As you very well know that a second order differential equation is a function of y2 dashes, y dash, y and x, where y2 dashes is d2y by dx squared, y dash is dy by dx. Two cases arise. The first one, when my differential equation of second order has no y terms in it. In such a case, we take the substitution y dash is equal to p and y2 dashes is dp by dx. So here, this means we are taking dy by dx as p. If you differentiate both the sides with respect to x, you will get here y2 dashes or d2y by dx square and this will give you dp by dx. On substituting, y dash as p and y2 dashes as dp by dx, our second order differential equation reduces to a first order differential equation in x, p and dp by dx. The second case is when there are no x terms. Here again we take y dash as p. Now when I differentiate y dash with respect to x, we'll get y2 dashes and right hand side as dp by dx. dp by dx can be written as dp by dy into dy by dx. You know that dy by dx is p. If we substitute that, we get dp by dx is p dp by dy. So we take the substitution y dash is equal to p and y2 dashes is p dp by dy. This reduces my second order differential equation to a first order differential equation in y, p and dp by dy. For such given differential equations, when we use either of the substitution, our differential equation of second order reduces to a first order differential equation. But in the process, we are solving two first order differential equations. The questions are lengthy and you have to be patient. Let's come to the examples. In the first example, we are asked to solve x y2 dashes is equal to y dash plus y dash whole group. You can see there are no y terms. We will use y dash is equal to p and y2 dashes is equal to dp by dx. This is the first substitution when there are no y terms. On substituting in the given differential equation, our differential equation reduces to x dp by dx is equal to p plus pq. You can separate the variables which will give us dp upon p 1 plus p square is equal to dx upon x. This is the first first order differential equation which we have got. Now if we integrate both the sides, we will get the solution in p. For integration, we use partial fractions to write 1 upon p 1 plus p square as 1 by p minus p upon 1 plus p square dp. Right hand side we write as it is dx upon x. And now integrate. This gives us log p minus half log of 1 plus p square. Right hand side gives us log x plus the constant of integration. You can take it as log c. This helps us in combining the terms on the right hand side which we can always write as log of xc. To integrate p upon 1 plus p square dp, we have taken the substitution 1 plus p square is equal to p. This gives us minus half log of 1 plus p square. Take this minus half as a power of 1 plus p square and that will give me the left hand side is log p upon root of 1 plus p square. Right hand side is log of xc. Take the exponential on both the sides. This will give us p 
P upon root of 1 plus P square is equal to HC. Now square both the sides. Some terms like P square will cancel. You will be left with P is equal to HC upon root of 1 minus X square C square. What is P? P is dy by dx. This gives us dy by dx is equal to xc upon root of 1 minus x square c square. Separate the variables. We get dy is equal to cx dx upon root of 1 minus x square c square. If you take 1 minus x square c square as p, you will get the right hand side as minus 1 by 2c integral dt by root 2. And left hand side will give us the term y. Now, this becomes y is equal to minus 1 upon c root of 1 minus x plus c square plus the constant of integration c1. This is the solution. If you take c1 on the left hand side, you'll get after simplifying and taking square x square plus x minus c1 whole square is equal to c2 square. This is nothing but the solution which is family of circles with center at 0, C1 and radius C. Give different values to C1 and C2, you will be getting different circles as a solution of this differential equation. So, one first order differential equation we solved here and the second first order differential equation was solved here. So we have basically solved two first order differential equations. In the second sum, we are asked to solve the differential equation y y2 dashes plus y dash whole square is equal to 0. You see there is no x term. Take the substitution y dash is equal to p and y2 dashes as p dp by dy. If you substitute in the second order differential equation, you will get y p dp by dy plus p square is equal to 0. Separate the variables, you will get dp by p is equal to minus dy by y. Integrate both the sides, we will get log p is equal to minus log y plus a constant of integration. Let's take it to be log c. So what will be the right hand side? It would be log c by y. And that's the reason we took the constant as log c, so that we can combine the terms. Left hand side was log p. Take the exponential, get rid of log, we will get p is equal to c by y. P is nothing but dy by dx. So we get dy by dx is equal to c by y. Separate the variables and integrate. We will get the solution as y square is equal to 2xc plus a constant of integration c by. Again, you have solved two first order differential equations. One is dp by p is equal to minus dy by y and the other one is dy by dx is equal to c by y. In the third example, we are asked to solve the differential equation x square y2 dashes is equal to 2xy dash plus y dash whole square. You see that there is no y term. We will use the substitution y dash is equal to p and y2 dashes is dp by dx. Substitute in the differential equation, you will get x square dp by dx is equal to 2xp plus p square. Divide by x square, rearrange the terms, you will get a linear first order differential equation, which is dp by dx minus 2 by xp is equal to p square by x square. Let's call it 1. Now you notice there is a term p square on the right hand side. So this is a Bernoulli's differential equation. We'll have to take a substitution to solve such an equation. Let's take z is equal to p to the power 1 minus n. What is n here? It is 2. We get p is to the power minus 1 or we get z is equal to 1 by p. Such equations we have already solved in one of my in our videos earlier. You can just refer to that. The Bernoulli's differential equations. Now, if I differentiate z is equal to 1 by p with respect to x on both the sides, we'll get dz by dx is equal to minus p to the power minus 2 dp by dx. The differential equation 1, when we substitute dp by dx is equal to minus p square dz by dx becomes 
p square dz by dx plus 2 by xp is equal to minus p square upon x square. Put 1 by p is equal to z. We will get dz by dx plus 2 by xz is equal to minus 1 by x square. This is a linear differential equation of first order. Px is 2 by x. Qx is minus 1 by x square. We will find the integrating factor which is e to the power integral px dx. That comes out to be x square. So what will be the solution? It would be z into the integrating factor is equal to the right hand side integral qx into the integrating factor dx plus the constant of integration. Why do we take z into the integrating factor? Because now the linear differential equation has z as the dependent variable. So let us see, we have z into the integrating factor x square is equal to integral right hand side which is minus 1 by x square integrating factor which is x square dx plus the constant of integration c. This x square gets cancelled, we will get minus x plus c. Put z is 1 by p, we will get x square upon p is equal to minus x plus c. Separate the terms, keep p on the left, we get p is equal to x square upon c minus x. p was dy by dx. Right hand side is x square upon c minus x. So, if I take dx on the right hand side, we will have dy is equal to x square upon c minus x dx. We have separated the variables y and x. Now, for integration, let's add and subtract c square in the numerator. Minus c square, we're keeping with x square. So, we'll get dy is equal to x square minus c square plus c square. Denominator was c minus x dx. If I open this, we'll get two factors x plus c, x minus c, plus c square upon c minus x. Pull the minus from x minus c out. And then divide by c minus x. We will get minus x plus c dx plus c square upon c minus x dx. If you integrate both the sides, you'll get the solution as y is equal to minus x square by 2 minus cx minus c square log of c minus x plus the constant of integration. In example 4, we are given the differential equation 2y y2 dashes is equal to 1 plus y dash whole square. There is no x term. Let's use y dash is equal to p and y2 dashes is equal to p dp by dy. When we substitute this in the differential equation, we get 2y of p dp by dy is equal to 1 plus p square. Separate the variables, we get p, p dp upon 1 plus p square is equal to dy by y. If you take 1 plus p square as t, 2p dp will become dt, you will get t upon dt upon t. Integrate, you will get log t. So we get log of 1 plus p square. Right hand side gives log y plus the constant of integration which we take as log c so that we can combine the terms. This gives us the right hand side as log of y c. Left hand side was log of 1 plus p square. Take the exponential on both the sides. This gives us 1 plus p square is equal to y c. Bring the 1 on the right hand side. You get p square is equal to y c minus 1. Now p was divided by dx. This gives us dy by dx whole square is equal to yc minus 1. Take the square root, dy by dx is plus minus root of yc minus 1. Separate the variables, you get y upon root of yc minus 1 is equal to dx. Integrate. The solution is plus minus root of yc minus 1 is equal to cx plus c1. In example 5, we are given x y2 dashes plus y dash is equal to 4x. There is no y term. Use the substitution y dash is equal to p and y2 dashes is dp by dx. Once you substitute, you get x dp by dx plus p is equal to 4x. Divide by x all over. You will get dp by dx plus 1 by x p is equal to 4. Here, this is a linear differential equation of first order where px is 1 by x, qx is 4. 
as integrating factors found from e to the power integral p x dx, we get e to the power integral 1 by x dx as x. What will be the solution now? It will be p into the integrating factor x equal to integral right hand side which is 4 into the integrating factor which is x dx plus the constant of integration which is c. Right hand side becomes 2x squared plus c. We get x dy by dx is equal to 2x squared plus c. We have substituted p as dy by dx. Now divide by x Separate the variables, you get dy is equal to 2x plus c by x dx. Integrate, solution comes out to be y is equal to x square plus c log x plus c1. In the sixth question, we are given y2 dashes minus k square y is equal to 0. There is no x term here. We use y dash is equal to p and y2 dashes as p dp by dy. Substitute in the differential equation we get p dp by dy minus k square y is equal to 0. Write it in the form p dp minus k square y dy is equal to 0. Integrate. We will get p square by 2 minus k square y square by 2 is equal to a constant of integration c1. Bring the 2 on the right hand side, you get 2c1 on the right. Take that as c square. This we are just doing it. If you want, you can just continue with C1. We get P square minus K square Y square is equal to C square. Now, P was dy by dx. So, we get dy by dx whole square minus K square Y square is equal to Cx. C square. Take the term K square Y square on the right hand side. We get dy by dx whole square is equal to K square Y square plus C square. Take the square root, you will get dy by dx is equal to root of k square y square plus c square. Separate the variables, we get dy upon root of k square y square plus c square is equal to dx. Now, pull out the k square from the denominator, we will get 1 by k dy upon root of y square plus c square upon k square is equal to dx. Why did we do that? So that we can write it in the form root of x square plus a square and you know that that integral can directly be written. This gives us 1 by k dy upon root of y square plus c square upon k square is equal to dx. The integral will be when we integrate both the sides 1 by k len of y plus root of y square plus c square upon k square is equal to x plus a constant of integration c. Bring the k on the right hand side, you get len y plus root of y square plus c square upon k2, k square is equal to k x plus c2. Take the exponential on both the sides, you get y plus root of y square plus c square upon k square is equal to e to the power k x plus c2. If you open the Bracket, you will get two terms, e to the power kx into e to the power kc2. If I write e to the power kc2 as a constant c3, because this is a constant, we will get the right hand side as c3 e to the power kx. This is the solution. We can stop here if you want, but let's write it in a compact form. For that, I will bring the y on the right hand side, which will give us root of y square plus c square upon k square is equal to c3 e to the power kx minus y. Square both the sides. This will give us y square plus c square upon k square is equal to c3 e to the power kx minus y whole square. Open the right hand side. Some terms will cancel. On simplifying, you will get y is equal to c3 e to the power kx upon 2 minus c square upon 2k square c3 e to the power kx. Take this e to the power kx to the numerator. We will get c3 e to the power kx upon 2 minus c square e to the power minus kx upon 2k square c3. If I write c3 upon 2 
as C4 and minus C square upon 2K square C3 as C5. We get the solution as Y is equal to C4 e to the power Kx plus C5 e to the power minus Kx. See how beautiful the solution looks. It is compact. It is neat. Come to the seventh question which says solve y2 dashes is equal to 1 plus y dash whole square. Here you see we have no y terms, no x terms. Any of the substitution will work. But which one are you going to choose? The one which gives the answer in lesser steps. I have used both substitutions just to show that when we use the substitution for no why. A question can be solved in very few steps. But we'll be getting the same answer. Let's start with case 1 when we say that take the substitution for no y. We take y dashes p, y2 dashes as dp by dx. This gives me the differential equation as dp by dx is equal to 1 plus p square. Separate the variables, we get dp upon 1 plus p square is equal to dx. Integrate both the sides, we'll get tan inverse p is equal to x plus c. If you take tan on both the sides, you'll get p is equal to tan x plus c. p is dy by dx. dy by dx is tan of x plus c. Integrate, you get y is equal to log sec of x plus c plus a constant of integration c. You saw here, in very few steps, we got the answer. What if we use the substitution y dash is equal to p and y2 dash is as p d2 by dy, which we can do because there is no x also in the differential equation. This substitution reduces my differential equation to p dt by dy is equal to 1 plus p square. Separate the variables, you'll get p dp upon 1 plus p square is equal to dy. Integrate both the sides, we will get half log 1 plus p square is equal to y plus a constant of integration c. Bring the two on the right hand side, you get log 1 plus p square is 2 y plus c. Take exponential on both the sides, you get 1 plus p square is equal to e to the power 2 y plus c. Bring the one on the right hand side, this gives us p square is e to the power 2 y plus c minus 1. If you open the term e to the power 2y plus c, we'll get two terms, e to the power 2y into e to the power 2c. If I take e to the power 2c as a constant c1, because it is a constant, we will get the right hand side as c1 e to the power 2y minus 1. Now p is dy by dx, so we get dy by dx whole square is equal to c1 e to the power 2y minus 1. Take the square root, divide by dx is equal to under root of c1 e to the power 2y minus 1. If I separate the variables, we'll get dy upon root of c1 e to the power 2y minus 1 is equal to dx. Integrate both the sides, we'll get tan inverse root of c1 e to the power 2y minus 1 is equal to x plus c2. Now you see, we still don't have the same answer as case 1. We'll go further. We'll take tan on both the sides. We'll get under root of c1 e to the power 2y minus 1 is equal to tan of x plus c. If we square both the sides, we get c1 e to the power 2y minus 1 is equal to tan square x plus c2. Bring this minus 1 on the right hand side, we get tan square x plus c2 plus 1. Right hand side is nothing but sec square x plus c2. We will get c1 e to the power 2y is equal to sec square x plus c2. If I bring the c2, uh, c1 on the right hand side, we'll get e to the power 2y is equal to c3 sec square x plus c2. I have taken 1 by c1 as c3. If we take c3 to be 1, we'll be getting e to the power 2y is equal to sec square x plus c2. Take log on both the sides, you'll get 2y is equal to log sec square x plus c2, which is nothing but 2 log of 6x plus c2. 2 
cancels and we get y is equal to log sec x plus y. Answer is the same as we got in case one. The only difference is here we had lots and lots of steps. In the last question here, we are asked to solve a differential equation of second order y y2 dashes is equal to y square y dash plus y dash square, where y is equal to minus half and y dash is equal to 1 whenever x is zero. So we have to find the particular solution. As you notice, there is no x. We will take y dash as p and y2 dashes as p dp by dy. Substitute your differential equation will be y p dp by dy is equal to p y square plus p square. Rearrange the terms, we get the first order linear differential equation dp by dy minus p by y is equal to y. Here, our p of y is minus 1 by y, q of y is y. Integrating factor will be e to the power integral p y dy which becomes e to the power integral minus 1 by y dy or 1 by y. Solution will be p into integrating factor 1 by y, which is equal to integral right hand side, which is y, integrating factor, which is 1 by y dy, plus the constant of integration c. So the right hand side is y plus c. Take the y from the left to the right, we get p is equal to y, into y plus c. p is dy by dx, so we get dy by dx is equal to y into y plus c. Separate the variables. After that, to integrate, we use partial fractions to write the term 1 upon y into y plus c as 1 by c, 1 by y minus 1 upon y plus c dy is equal to dx. Integrate both the sides we will get 1 by c log y minus log of y plus c is equal to x plus a constant of integration c y. Combine the terms log y and log of y plus c, we will get log y upon y plus c is equal to x plus c1. We bring this c on the right hand side, we will get c times x plus c1. Take the exponential, you will get y upon y plus c is equal to e to the power c x plus c1. We write e to the power c into c1 as a constant c2 as we did previously. So the right hand side is c2 e to the power cx. Now this is the solution, the general solution. But we were asked a particular solution as some conditions were given. So what we'll do? For that we need the derivative also because the derivative has to be satisfied at x is equal to 0. We will write the term on the left, y upon y plus c, as 1 minus c upon y plus c. Right hand side is as it is, is equal to c2 e to the plus cx. Now differentiate this. We will get c upon y plus c to square divided by dx is equal to c into c2 e to the plus cx. The c on both the sides will cancel we will get 1 upon y plus c whole square to divide by dx is equal to c2 e to the power cx. So we have a general solution given by 1 and the other solution, the derivative divide by dx from 2. We have y is minus half and y dash that is divide by dx as 1 when x is 0. Substitute this in 1 and 2. This will give us the constants c and c2. c is minus 3 by 2, c2 is 1 by 4. When you put it in your general solution 1 and simplify, your solution will be y is equal to half 8y e to the power 3 by 2 x plus 3. Thank you for watching. For other courses, do check my website www.prof.priti.bhj. PAI .com. That is www.profreetibashpay.com.